Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in this tutorial, what we'll see is that we'll see how to write equations in Python. Sorry, equations in LaTeX. In the last few tutorials, we saw how to write uh, some mathematical notations in LaTeX. So this will be an extension of that. Uh, okay, let's get into it. Uh, get into it straight away. Now, to write equations in LaTeX, what you need is that we need this command called as uh, we need a series of commands called as begin equation array. Begin equation array. So let me just uh, remove a few things. So I'll just show you what's happening. Okay, don't worry about these. Okay, um, let me just make some new corrections. I'll just explain what's going on. So if I run this, okay, there you have it. Now let me explain what you guys what what's going on. To write equations in uh, LaTeX and to number them automatically, okay, you need this feature. You need this command called as begin equation array, equ equ eqm array, okay. And this is actually a begin and end command, like uh, like your begin document, okay. And uh, all your equations have to be written in it. And uh, this is how it goes. This is how it goes. Inside this, you just write your equations using the mathematical notations we learned in the previous. Uh, videos you might have learned in the, you might have learned in the previous video just like that but just with the exception that you don't have to put them enclose them strictly within dollar sign you don't have to enclose them other than that everything is fine so just write them in uh, dollar write them in uh, signs like write them in general notation as you wrote, used to write okay and then you have it okay now what what will happen is that let me cut this up okay if I run this if I run if I run this okay okay then let me remove this this is just one equation and your let me zoom this up so that you'll have a better view you'll just have only one equation and then that equation is numbered as one okay suppose if you want to write another equation okay what you do is that you just type two uh, backslashes indicating that we have a hard return we just have a hard line soft return okay and then in the next line what you do is that paste the other equation paste the other equation so like this okay and there you have it you have another equation ready okay by default the equations e the equation written in equation array align such that the equal signs come nicely okay now suppose uh, let's say I have a uh, f uh, feature wherein I have to uh, uh, you know I just have to align them manually by my by my choice let's say the alignment is uh, I'm using equal equals to have the alignment let's say I just want the alignment to happen with respect to this term so what do I do it what do I have to do just put an and in front of the in front and back of the number or the symbol for which you have to make the alignment properly I do this the alignment will be based on one okay you might not have been convinced with that so what I do is that uh, I pull the alignment in front of uh, you know x. Now you might be in a position to see. Now if I run this, there you have it. The alignment is actually based on x or which are, okay. You can force, you can uh, uh, automatically align by uh, automatically align by default, and you can manually align using the AND symbol. That's about this part. Now, what what happens? Now, what happens is that suppose if I were to have a big equation, let's say, and I have to write this in multiple lines in LaTeX, you can use the hard return and continue with that. So, if you use that, okay, you have you have the privilege to write the equation in multiple lines. But you have a problem when you do this. When you do this, the equation automatically the, the next part of the equation automatically gets numbered as well now this is a problem that we don't want to face now to remove that what happens what happens is that there is an option called as no number now what you do is that just call, what you do is that before the equation you, uh, when you write the equation write some stuff and then you just write no number before you give the soft return soft return and then save it and run it and there you have it now when you write no return 
the entire the the sorry when you write no number the equation gets not get numbered as you saw here see now this part is not get numbered whereas okay whereas this part gets numbered nicely okay that's about this that's about this equation array and then um, so as we saw if you want to manually align you can use and symbols uh, use and symbols for manual alignment okay I'll just write a comment over here. Use and for manual alignment. Okay, and that's about this part. So let me just write delete this off. Okay, and one more thing, guys. Uh, if you, whatever contents you write after uh, end document, they'll not be compiled. So if you have some notes or something, and if you want to write, but you're not sure as to how to work about with it, just write them over here so that you just you don't delete actually delete the comments and everything, and then you can you, you can just reuse them whenever needed. Okay, okay. Now that's about that part. Okay. Next, what we'll do is that okay. I now I know how to write an equation. How I know how to write now I know how to write the equation in a nice manner. Okay, and uh, I know how to align them as per my choice. Uh, number them, unnumber them naturally. Now, suppose if I were to un uh, write the equation such that I don't, if get, does, none of the equations get numbered. Now, how is it that possible? It's possible with this command called as equation array with a star. Just put a star in front of the equation and then proceed with it. And proceed with the way you go about with it. So, if I run this, if you look at this part, all these equations. I mean, uh, they have a set of equations over here, and these equations are not at all numbered. The hard returns are, yeah, the soft returns are used to go to next lines, but they are not numbered. They are not numbered per se. Now, suppose if I were to write the same expression over here, same expression over here, okay, if I check this out, all these individual parts get numbered and if I just press <laughs> uh, soft return over here the even the blank line that will come afterwards will also be numbered so if it, I remove it and I look at it it's removed so this is about it okay now this can be annoying so suppose if you want to have a field wherein you don't want the equations to be numbered all of them okay instead of writing no number for every one of them you can use this that will be fine okay now next thing is this the only way to write equation uh, uh, number equations actually well actually it's not you have another option as well and that option is called as align option okay uh, uh, let me just keep this as of now let me start with a simple one yeah this one will be fine okay now what does this align option do is that it's again something similar to your begin equation array begin equation array okay uh, it does the exactly the same thing so if I were to run this part if I were to run this part it will work similarly and if you see and even your no number also works less th just like that now uh, similarly uh, for align if you want to write equations in align without having all the numbers uh, equation numbers being printed okay it is also possible now how do I do about with that just with a star okay like this and suppose if you want the alignment to be manually adjusted okay just use an and over here and that's about it now as of now you might be wondering hey uh, the, dude uh, the align equations and equation array are just mere replicas of each other why should I use it now here's the catch here's the catch Suppose let's say I want to write a set of text over here within this. This is a set of algebraic identities. Okay. This is a set of algebraic identities. So if I just write a set of contents or uh, statements like this, okay, just a statement like this, if I were to run this it will throw an error or equation uh, array will throw an error because you cannot write uh, text just plain text inside equation array 
because this is a pure mathematic uh, because my equation array does not let you that option suppose if i were to write a blank line as well okay if i were to write a blank line as well it will throw an error okay suppose you want to write a blank line in the script over here want that to happen it is not possible but if you just put a comment comment or comments are fine but if you want to write a blank line over here in the script it's not possible okay similarly this holds good for equation arrays as well but in align uh, okay in align what if i write uh, contents in align it does it work well let me see this is a set of identities in algebra okay if i write this content in a begin align well honestly it's not a big deal so if i were to write uh, write like this it does write it it does write them but it just cramps up everything and it gives another equation name to it now this is not what we want we just want the text to be written right so when compared to the equation array this is a little bit flexible align is a little bit flexible to write text what you do is they just uh, you write the option okay what is it yeah just uh, write the command enter text and then close it and you write uh, you write close it and then if you do this this text is inside equation are uh, big, big line, okay uh, align uh, field but still it is it's it is possible to write it and then not a problem then no number no number option and everything they just work nicely uh when i run this again yeah perfect um perfect it works fine now not only that uh you can write the statement in uh, sorry you can write the statement in <coughs> sorry excuse me you can this is allowed in alignment star as well so not a problem and this again is not numbered not a problem okay and if you want you can label your equations as well so if you want to la la label your equations what you do is that on top of the equation that you want to label give this command write backslash label and then type iden and then type your label name and this label name can be a symbol uh letters numbers a mixture of all this your choice doesn't matter so just write a label uh, on the top of your equation okay so this label will correspond to this equation and this label will correspond to this equation and then if you want to use the refer to these equations anywhere in a document okay what you do is that you just use you just write it and write it uh, use this command called as ref now inside ref you just pass the label name in it so this will be like uh, here you're setting a target and you just uh, point it towards here using this okay now uh, you're setting an identity over here you're setting a label over here and you refer to it over here simple as that so let's see how this works so if i write if i cut all this and paste it within the document field okay now check this out uh initially when you run for the first time your contents will have a question mark like this because in the first round of a uh, compile compilation latex will just figure latex will just figure out all the labels figures figure numbers for chapter numbers and so on and so forth and will form its own a collection of it in a particular file okay so these fields will have a question mark like this okay but when you compile it for the second time the value get the values get filled automatically values get filled automatically and if you see if you see we are referring to these two equations on the top which is ex, which is actually essentially the equation 6 and 7 equation 6 and 7 and uh, those equations are uh, uh, you know represented nicely over here fine that's about this part uh, okay that's a, that's about uh, writing equations okay that's about writing equation writing equations in uh, uh yeah then uh, uh, it's okay leave it that's about that's about writing equations in um, 
uh, uh, LaTeX. Okay, this way you are able to write a set of equations, arrays, and um, align them as per your choice. Do all the manipulations you want. Uh, write text in between, and so on and so forth. Okay, and you also have options to write using left and right notations. We saw last time in one of the previous tutorials. You have all, you have that option as well. So that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. And in the next tutorial, we will see how to do tables. Okay, so so see you guys then.